already have my ult back. So I mean the cooldown on the ult is really fast. And you can see here, using your ult, I, I would have died if I didn't have my ult there, but my team came in, they helped me. Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So yeah, Argus is freaking amazing, totally OP guys, I usually don't say this about heroes, but he's OP, at least in team fights and in 1v1s, I don't, I don't know, he's just too OP. Anyways guys, I'm gonna try a build with him that I think will probably be pretty good, so yeah, here's the build guys, we have some lifesteal, a lot of cooldown reduction, some critical strike and some attack and attack speed. I think this build can work pretty good on him since uh, with a lot of cooldown you can basically spam your ult almost. Especially since like on level 3 your ult has like a 7 second duration and like 30 second cooldown with all of the cooldown stuff so it's gonna be pretty goddamn sick you guys. But anyways I, uh, I have sped up this gameplay a bit because um, I don't know, it was it was like a bit too long for my liking, so I sped it up a bit and I'm just gonna try and commentate over most of it. Some stuff I will just have music because like it doesn't really happen a lot and like there's no, no real reason to say anything, but uh, yeah, in the beginning, like you wanna jungle as like with almost every hero, <laughs> so yeah, try and jungle some in the beginning. Don't be too aggressive in the start because you don't have your ultimate, you're not invincible, okay? <laughs> you have your abilities, so try and like, s not stay back, but like, don't be too ballsy, go back if you need to regen and, or anything like that, just like how you play any other hero, guys, or any other fighter at least. So, yeah, keep in mind this is on the advanced server, you can see my ping up there in the top, it's uh, pretty, pretty bad, pretty hard ping right here <laughs> but yeah I tried my best to work with the ping I died sometimes one of the reasons was because of ping one of them was just because I got way too ballsy <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know uh, do you guys like it when I comment over the gameplay or should I just like play some music or yeah tell me in the comments below so I know what you guys feel like I should do because uh, your guys' opinion really matters to me and like I want to do something that you guys really really want to watch. So um, yeah, tell me in the comments what you think, how I should do and everything like that. But yeah, anyways, I'm level 5 now, I have unlocked my ultimate, which you, you're gonna see here, I, uh, I... Oh well, wait, I didn't use it there, oh my god, I wasn't ballsy. <laughs> I thought I was way more ballsy than I, than I was, but turns out I'm not. So, going for some jungle stuff, trying to level up a bit faster here. Uh, the first item I went for was the lifesteal one, because uh, it really ha helps with survivability if you have the lifesteal item. Okay, you can see here, I'm, I'm jumping in. Am I using my ult? Yeah, I used my ult for some reason, I, I don't really know why. I didn't even get a kill, it's so, so sad. And I couldn't really do anything about Mia there. So, wait. Oh, <laughs> I thought Mia killed me, oh, never mind. Got really confused about the whole slain thing. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys feel about this hero? Or think about it, rather. I mean, he's pretty goddamn sick, to be honest. Like, this is this is the, new, the most OP hero right now in Mobile Legends. Mainly, or well, only because of his ult. I'm sorry, I, I track ran by, I couldn't say anything. But yeah, mainly because of his ult, because... Like, when you jump into a team fight, you use your ult, you lose all your HP, but you regain everything as well, and you become invincible for 7 seconds when it's on the max. So you can see here, there are just jumped me, I totally just destroyed him there. That was pretty fun. Uh, decided to go for the red buff here, just to get some more damage in, uh, like, just to be able to deal some more damage. And we have something going on here on bot lane, so I'm gonna try and rush you there and help my team. You can see I already have my ult back. So I mean the cooldown on the ult is really fast. And you can see here using your ult, I, I would have died if I didn't have my ult there, but my team came in, they helped me, and I managed to get one kill and one assist. Pretty sick. <laughs> the, I mean this ult, this ult is just insane. And you can see we have around 50 seconds cooldown right now. I decided to go for the turtle because a early turtle is always good. You will get a lot of gold 
if you keep going for the turtle early and keep going for him a lot. So yeah, you can see there we got some gold, we got some EXP, and so far our team is doing good. We haven't, well, we have pushed more turrets and we have mo the most amount of kills. And you can see here I'm going in against Karina. He can't do anything. I use my ult. Like, it's not even a problem. He, this this hero is way too OP. We have their Argus trying to go for Lord. I don't know why I hit Lord there. I was supposed to go after him, but I, I don't really know what happened. He tried to take the red buff. I decided to steal the red buff from him and to go mid lane to uh, clear some minions, you know. I, I just love the grapple thing. It's so freaking amazing. I, I thought it worked like you grapple them and pull them towards you, but it's more that you pull them towards, like, you pull you towards them. You can see here, he the enemy Argus used his ult there. It totally saved his life. I used my ult here as well, though. Survive that, no problem. You can't die from turret shots. You will lose all of your HP. Let's keep that in mind, but you can't die. So as long as one enemy hits you at least once, you will survive a turret dive. But uh, yeah, going for the blue buff here, need the cooldown. I mean, I don't have mana or anything, so in a normal game this would probably be pretty stupid. But I wanted to have as much cooldown as possible, guys. And you can see, uh, I mean, I'm not doing the like very, 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 very good or anything. I have 401 so far. Um, yeah, I mean, the server lags quite a lot. I would probably have gotten way more done if I didn't have, um, if I didn't have the lag. But you can see here, I used my ult to survive the third type, no problems. Unfortunately enough, there are you also used their ult and survived our attack or our ambush. But, uh, yeah, you can see here, I uh, don't know why I didn't go for the third there. I decided to try and take the red buff. And also try and kill Alucard here because he didn't really care about me taking the red buff for some reason. I, I don't really know what he was doing. But yeah, I have my ult back now. We have their Argus there. Let's see if I can try and jump him, use my ult. Alucard or Saber got a kill and my ult didn't activate for some reason. I thought it did, but it, it actually didn't activate. Uh, so that was kind of bad. But I survived, no problems there. We now have Mia here, so I can go ahead, I can upgrade my ult. It's on the full, like... You can't upgrade your ult any more than this, and like, it's a 7 second invincibility, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really, don't really know. Yeah, that was the part where I was way too ballsy, as you guys can see. I just jumped in and didn't think that all of the heroes would come back and stuff, so that was just stupid of me. That I deserve that death. I really, really do, but, uh, yeah. I just have to say this again, I can't get enough of him, he's so goddamn OP! Like, honestly, you can just jump into a team fight, use your ult, and you you will never die, guys. Like, honestly, he's he's way too broken right now. They, I'm, I'm 95% sure they're gonna fix his ult for the, uh, for the release on the normal servers. They will probably still make, like, have him invincible and stuff, but hopefully they will remove or at least lower the amount of time that you are invincible, because holy crap, it's it's so freaking OP. But yeah, you can see here we have four full items, I'm uh, gonna go for... I don't really remember which item I went for now, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and grab the blue buff again, take their blue buff this time, just to make sure they don't get a blue buff. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go for Lord now, actually. Yeah, 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 we're going for Lord. Another thing to keep in mind with these guys, or well, with this, even when you have your invincibility, you will see I activated here, I will still lose HP. So, works sort of like a turret shot, if you don't get hit by any, like, if you don't get hit by anything, I think you will actually die in the end. But uh, yeah, I had Mia there, and I had the lifesteal, so... We got Lord there really easy, free Lord basically. And it's so sad, like, my jungle tips that I uploaded the other day, they don't work anymore, because they remade the jungle, so like, the whole thing doesn't work but you can see here I use my ult it's just it's just amazing I would have gotten a double kill unless she would have run away or if she didn't run away I, I don't know how to say it if she didn't run away uh, yeah sure that's that's how I'm gonna say it from now on. <laughs> but yeah it's just so OP I could I can go two we won and just totally wreck them it's so I mean it's not even fair let's see how I use my ult again got a kill on Karina there 
And uh, this is another part where I was way too dumb, basically. I should have run away there. I, I totally should have run away there. But we won the game. Second death. Oh my god, I... Uh, I'm gonna blame the lag there because I... I was actually trying to run away, but it, it didn't really work. But you can see there, guys. We got the MVP. This... This build is, like, one of the best builds so far for Argus, as far as I know. Because you get a lot of cooldown and you deal a hell of a lot of damage. You can probably change some items, like, you probably don't really need the cooldown boots, because, like, it gives 10... 10% cooldown, but, like, you can probably smash without it, at least if you have the blue buff. Although you're probably not gonna get the blue buff depending on your team, but, like, if you have the blue buff, you're pretty set. But, uh... Yeah, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment about what you think of the video and about the hero Argus. Like, overall, he's, for me, he's just amazing. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.